you guys can surrender and be jailed and something will happen with that, but you'll be alive. You cannot surrender, you can fight, you can probably die. You will probably die. I saw a question on Reddit that I thought was incredibly prescient considering that it is about TPKs. Ooh. Yeah. On topic, on brand. On topic, on brand, yes, and not a total pebble knockdown, mind you, but a total party kill. Potential TPK for level 13 party was the title. You should be able to deal with anything at 13. Uh, what you do is you just double the hit points on all the enemies. Oh. I assume this is D&D, by the way? It is. My party of players located the outpost of a tactically intelligent group they believed to be responsible for some politically motivated arson attacks. And they, bur they burst into it and kicked down a nearby door and went full force, throwing Firestorm and other powerful and loud spells. And in a matter of five to eight rounds, they slaughtered ten members of the group. One managed to scream out an alarm, but was slain. Then, my party stopped and held position while looking into some curious uh, curiosity that piqued the wizard's attention. After a short time, a member approached from down the hallway with their hands raised and engaged the party in a conversation about lawful authority within the city, which the party engaged in for many minutes, which turned out to be a stalling tactic. The rest of the outpost surrounded them and attacked. And the party is in a really bad spot with the wizard and barbarian banished, the cleric in a silent spell, the druid and bard are outnumbered trying to hold one of the flanks. The enemies have offered to allow the party to surrender, but they are talking about fighting it out, which is almost certain to result in their deaths. These enemies would accept their surrender, disarm, disarmor them, and jail them, but in combat, I cannot imagine I could justify them taking prisoners. Thoughts, advice, feedback. Your players are stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you this. So, so here's the thing. Yeah. It's the enemy is intelligent, so it's not like they're just going to murder them on a whim, apparently. No. You know? So... The party has the option of surrender. Mm -hmm. A lot of parties and players don't like doing that. No. Even when it would be beneficial. Yes. So I guess the real outcome comes down to whether the party would like to live another day and escape or learn motives, maybe join this cause. Who knows? There's lots of options for roleplay if you surrender. Right. Or if you're forced to surrender, like, incapacitated. Right. Um, and I can't really see that group as being too lenient. They already killed multiple members of their thing. So it's like, well, if you're going to stay and fight, we're just going to kill you. Like, we've right. already committed arson, potentially murder. It's like, your deaths are going to mean nothing to us. So, like, it's up to you. Right, right. Uh, reading down in some of the comments, I did find out that this is a group that's been playing for like five years with these characters. Um, so, uh, so that so they they're pretty well versed in what they can handle and what the what the party can handle. And I'm going to assume that the uh, DM also does. So, if they're saying this is uh, probably not going to end well, I, I so, I'm guessing that means it's not going to end yeah, well. Well, the other thing about that is if you've been playing these characters for five years, there is a very real potential that surrender is not an option for these characters. Oh. Whether or not they don't want to get caught, or whether or not they are just too stubborn as uh, beings to admit surrender or defeat. Yes. Like, surrender might not actually be, like, an option in their minds it's no we either go down fighting or we don't go down at all i i always ask myself a question like with the you know the trope is that the party will always fight right like it, it, there's there's no such thing as running away or surrendering you know for as a trope yeah i've definitely yeah. run away from things that i have not been able to 
handled before. I am I am a firm believer in the idea that parties should absolutely keep that as an option. Yes. Yes. I mean, back when I was playing with David uh, Shump and I, I transformed into a horse and put him on my back and rode away with him while he's unconscious, you know? Oh, yeah. But at the same time, Hef had faced down a demon on his own because he, you know... It was like, this is an ancient enemy from my homeland, and there is no way I can feasibly see myself backing down from this. Right, right. He's like, I know this will probably kill me, like, but I have to yeah. try. Hef was doing that, though, uh, because that's his character. His character, yeah. not, not because you were like, oh, I gotta stay and fight. That was not really a you choice. Right. That was a character choice. I said, I said to, I said to David, I was like, this is probably going to be a really bad idea, but he would do this, and he's going to do this. It was um, a bad choice, by the way. It was. A, I mean, he got brought back to life. Um, yeah, eventually. the running away was like we had a whole town garrison on us. It's like we're not going to survive this. We yeah. just escaped from jail. We're not going back. Right. Um, right. 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 Um, I have had cases, uh, Rembrandt ended up in a, um, in a seedy, uh, basement with another member of the party, and these, um, these, like, creepy children that are saying, oh, we ha somebody's hurt, please help us, and going through, like, these doors and doors that, like, lock behind you and stuff, and I kept trying to, like, do these... Uh, persuasion checks to make sure that I was the last one to go through the door so that I couldn't, so that it wouldn't close behind me. And obviously there's a point where you're like, yeah, this is not what you think it is. And uh, it turns out that, yeah, yeah, no, no, they were just disguised as kids and they were like monster creatures uh, that were luring people into like the underbelly. And my initial thought is to basically grab my, like, halfling companion, make sure that he gets through the door, try to shadow step my way out of the entire facility, and then just grab the guards and tell them, hey, some creepy, cre creepy dudes down there, and just have them deal with him, which, which happened. And I was like, yeah, something really weird's going on down there. And, and the guards went down and a bunch of them died. <laughs> a bunch I, I of them died. Remember this. Yeah, a bunch of them died. Um, but but like the captain and stuff came came back up, and it's like, what was that? And I was like, I told you they were creepy. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about. Them. And it's like, but honestly, like I, that that was a that was a thing where tactically that would be what Rembrandt did. He's a he's a shadow ninja. You know, he he can shadow step out of that. I kept I kept telling Dom, like. Uh, so there are grates in this, like, uh, under city. So I can see out to the road, right? And it's at night, and it's like, oh yeah, you can see out to the road. Because I kept thinking, backup plan, I have shadow step, and I can teleport to a space, unoccupied space, I can see. So if I need to, I'm getting out <laughs> of here. Yeah. But back to the Reddit post, it doesn't sound like this party has an easy out, aside from surrender. Yeah, this is not a running away situation, so you either have to surrender or not. So, um, this is the part where I I ask myself if the option of surrender is one that they're not taking because the players don't want to take it, or because they think the characters would not take it. Oh, and then the other question that I would ask from that is, alright, well... Here's a better question, too, and it may not be perfectly in character for you, but, like, would having your player, having your characters die here really be worth having to start something over from five years worth of playing this game? Right. Deus Ex Machina, you don't want to have your characters rescued by some outside force at the last moment when they're level 13. That feels really bad. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So it's the, all right, well, you guys can surrender and be in jailed and something will happen with that, but you'll be alive. You cannot surrender. You can fight. You can probably die. You will probably die. Maybe surrender is the better option, even though it's not the best, like, in-character option. Like, it, it's right. the party's fun. The game is fun. We want to keep playing this game because we've been doing it for five years. Right. Yes, every game needs an end, but, like, sure. Sometimes it might be worth just kind of going, this one time we'll surrender. 
bad decision on us kind of deal. We we didn't do a good job. We fucked up. We're going to surrender, deal with the consequences, but we get to keep playing these characters in this game and go on. Right, exactly. I, I think that there is uh, also possibility, if it is actually something where the characters are able to surrender and are able to like go to a holding cell or jail, where this is not really an end of anything because there are how many times side note how many times have you been playing a game where your party or your character if it's a video game ends up in jail and all their stuff has been taken away from them it's like a common thing that happens very often <laughs> like yeah very often i swear like fable this happened deus ex uh, Knights of the Old Republic, Skyrim has a section. Elder Scrolls. Yeah, Elder Scrolls in general starts you there, but even this Skyrim This happened to the, Hef uh, also? Yeah, yeah, this happens Like, with he a was lot. put in jail, but then he escaped because he's a druid and can transform into a spider. Right. Um, yeah. You know, plus, you know, surrendering doesn't mean you won't get to play him, it means you can escape. Exactly. Now you have a cool escape plan to try and get out of yeah. jail, you know? This is this is Chronicles of Riddick, Escape from Butcher Bay, which, you know, by the way, oldie but a goodie if you if you've never played it. Um, but uh, in, in uh, that particular game, the whole game is centered around Riddick being put in this like maximum security prison. And there's chapter after chapter of like him being in a prison cell and trying to figure out how to get out of this minimum security area and how to like make make a shiv and get into the locked area and get a gun and get behind the you know the skunk works and then he gets caught and they put him in a, like a medium security place and takes all your stuff away and then you've got to figure out how to get through that and so like three times throughout that game is basically you getting caught put into a jail cell and then having to figure out how to get out of that situation <laughs> right and it works really really well because it's interesting i think one of the reasons why they do those segments is because having now gotten very powerful and had all of your gear taking that all away makes the characters start to think about how to be resourceful in that moment where they really have yeah. to be tactical about how they they plan things out so I think that it's actually an interesting thing if you do get put into the jail cell uh, because there's a, a lot of fun things that you can do with that narrative. Someone had suggested about talking to your players as you know and tell them what the situation is and uh, you know and and I don't want to be too meta about that, but I, I do think that it's worth telling players that you know to, to make them understand the likelihood of this going well or not yeah. in this particular I mean, situation. If it's a party you've had for five years as well, I think you can probably get away with that. At least give some uh, not-so-subtle clues about how dangerous it is. Uh, yeah. Wow, that armor is really thick! <laughs> um, yeah. That's a shiny sword! It's like, yeah, no, just make, make it very clear. Um, I think that your, your party's best plan of attack is probably to surrender unless they have a, a, some sort of a easily mitigatable escape plan but I don't think that they do yeah so yeah. Um, and uh, you know talking and communication to your parties is probably pretty good the only other thing I can say is even after you know informing them and everything if they still like no better to go out in a blaze of glory or, like, I'm just gonna, we're gonna destroy the whole facility if we can beforehand, you know, at least let it, if they want to go out on an epic note, let them go out on an epic note, let them try to, you know, go go down swinging and, you know, destroy what they need yeah. to destroy there for stopping the arsonist group or whatever if they want to. Yeah. Um, if, if, they're, if they're gonna die, I'll let them do whatever narrative thing they want, <laughs> you know, yep. the whole Make it a cool do. death. Make it a cool death, you know? At, 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 at a certain point, if you're, like, the party's gonna go, I'm sort of like, you know what, we're gonna throw out some of the mechanics here and just do the narrative to end this, of, of like, what you want to yeah. have the, your last actions be. Um, so, I guess that would be our thoughts and advice as a general rule of thumb when you end up in, like... Unsolicited advice. 
Brought to you by TBK. That's what we always do right here. Everything we say is unsolicited advice, for the record. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, if you find yourself in one of those positions, that would be our general play. Uh, making sure that you talk to your players about it to explain the danger of the situation. Uh, surrender's not a bad thing. Suck up your pride occasionally and do it if, if it makes sense. Uh, and if your party really wants to fight, make sure that it's worth it. <laughs> make sure that make sure that their end of the story is worth it. Um, so that would be what I would say. Uh, if anyone has any other thoughts about how you might want to deal with the situation or additional advice that you'd want to give to the players as well as the GM, let us know in the comments down below, and we will talk about sure. it further. 